Want to know one of the reasons why so many people are leaving California? Well, Governor Newsom just signed a bill that says if minor child is in school and decides to become Stephen, even though when they left home in the morning they were Susie, and the school tells you, big punishment for the teachers in the school. In other words, it's against the law for the child's secret to be disclosed to the parents if it has to do with gender identity. Oh boy, is this nutty. Claire, my former state of California has passed a bill. It's called the Safety Act, AB 1955. It was just signed by their governor, Gavin Newsom, that absolutely blows me away. It says that all California schools are legally prohibitive from adopting any policy that would allow the school to disclose, quote, any information related to a pupil's sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression to any other person, including the parents of the minor child without the pupil's consent. Schools may not, as a matter of policy, inform parents of a child's new gender identity unless the child volunteers for approval. The law also prohibits schools from punishing any school employee found to have supported a pupil and on and on and on. Here's the bottom line. If you're a parent and you send your 12-year-old Susie to school, and she's in middle school, and Susie decides to be Stephen and sees the counselor at school to get gender-affirming care, the school's not allowed to tell you what's going on at school. So when she leaves for school in the morning, she's Susie, and all day long, she's Stephen, and you are not allowed to be told. I don't know. From my perspective, this is completely insane. What do you think? I couldn't agree with you more. This is total insanity. I would expect a law like that to be taken up through the court system all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. But the bottom line is that parents absolutely have to be reaffirmed as parents, as the legal guardians of their own children with the right to know what is going on at the school and again this is a child we're talking about a minor whether the child wants information like that shared with the parent or not i am dumbfounded i'm absolutely dumbfounded my grandson was in a class last year with a furry and i wasn't sure what it was so i asked him and he said it's a person in his class who when called on, responded to the teacher by meowing. And when the kids started laughing, the teacher admonished the other children to show respect to the cat in the classroom. That's that's a true story, by the way. Yeah, uh, this is the inmates taking over the asylum. And I really mean asylum is what our public schools have become. Why adults would cater to such nonsense coming out of immature little children is completely beyond me, but it's gotta stop. And I think it's the parents who are going to have to stand up even more than they have already and put a stop to this kind of nonsense at the school board level or in the courts if need be. Agreed, and meow to you too. <laughs> <laughs>